Hi friends, today we are going to read a book called Rain. So let's see what it's all about. It was hot. Everything was hot and dry. The red soil was hot and dry and cracked. A porcupine sniffed around. It's time, he whispered. The rain is coming. I can smell it. I must tell the zebras. Lightning flashed. The rain is coming, said the zebras. Porcupine can smell it. We can see it. We must tell the baboons. Thunder boomed. The rain is coming, cried the baboons. Porcupines can smell it. The zebras can see it. We can hear it. We must tell the rhino. A raindrop splashed. The rain is here, said the rhino. The porcupine can smell it. The zebras saw it. The baboons heard it, and I felt it. I must tell the lion. The lion spoke in a deep purr. Yes, the rain is here. I can smell it. I can see it. I can hear it. I can feel it. And he sighed. I can taste it. It rained and it rained and it rained and it rained. It rained until every river gushed and gargled and it rained until every water hole was full. Then the rain stopped and everywhere along feathery grass gr grasses grew from the soil. Every tree began to sprout fresh green leaves. I, can ta I can't taste the rain now, purred the lion. But I can enjoy the shade of these trees, of these, the shade of these big green leaves. I can't feel the rain now, said the rhino, but I can lie in the cool, soft, squelchy mud. I, we can't hear the rain now, shouted the baboons, but we can eat fresh, juicy fruit from the trees. We can't see the rain now, said the zebras, but we can have a refreshing drink from the water hole. I can't smell the rain now, whispered the porcupine, but I know what it will I know that it will come back again when it's time. The sun shone over the plain. It was hot and everything was drying out. The red soil was hot and dry, and a tiny crack appeared. <gasps> what do you think's gonna happen? Thanks for reading Rain with me, friends. We'll see you next time. Bye.